All right, we're here in Waterford, Ontario. Uh, here behind me is the Waterford Antique Mall. We're gonna go take a walk around, see if we can find anything cool inside. We're also gonna meet up with my buddy Scott from the uh, YouTube channel, Scott Sell Stuff. Um, yeah, uh, he's got a couple booths here. He's gonna show us around. We're gonna see if we can find anything cool. I might buy, buy something. I might not, I'm not really sure, but uh, let's get inside and see what's here. I, uh, I hear good things. Interesting. A lot of country. There are definitely some good CDs out there, but I recognize these guys from McDonald's. McDonald's giveaways. Okay, I've sold this exact mug quite a few times. I actually may even have one at home still. They're asking nine bucks, which is pretty comparable. I think on eBay you're gonna get like 10, 12 bucks, something like that. Okay. Go cool. they got the blue light going on. I forget what this is called. I'm sure somebody in the comments will tell me real quick. Um, certain name to this type of glass. Is it uranium, maybe? Yeah. Very cool. Definitely collectible. Okay, a bunch of tin cans, you know. A lot of tobacco type stuff. Or zigzags, because this is cool. 75 bucks. Wow. <clears throat> this is stuff I would, never would have picked up yard sailing or garage sailing, but uh, you know I might start. Didn't realize some of it was so expensive. It's cool. I used to have stuff like this. Or my grandfather used to have stuff like this actually, but uh, well, really neat. Keep buying lots. Well, good <laughs> problem to have, right? Yeah. Oh, these are cool. Um, what is this from? I'm trying to remember. Um, I know what it's from. It might even say on the glass, on the inside. On the, oh, okay, yeah. Say? It says Schneid, Schneid, Schneidley? Yeah, I, I know what, what it's is from. That? I know, it's from a cartoon, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's cool. A couple of complete Genesis systems. Those are cool. In the box. Yeah, those are tested and working. Yep. The PlayStation, the Slim. I have lots more to bring in that. This, uh, this exact one right here made my Christmas one year for sure. Yeah. I remember opening that thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is neat too. Got all the old pins on it. Yeah, I, I think it's... Uh... Um... I think somebody modified that though. They have the jackets to put those on there. Oh, okay. I don't think it was. So, like, I don't yeah. Think they bought it. It's still nice old jackets. This old. Uh, I don't know if it's old, but the uh, the owls up here. That thing is crazy. Yeah. No, I did. I got that in an attic in a house, like a private pick in Dover. In Dover, wow. Yeah, it was just up in the attic. A whole bunch of stuff like that. Same, like, do you get more traffic on this floor, though, I would think, or? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I'm surprised how much more the sales are on the bottom floor. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Monday's the vendor day. Okay. So this whole booth. So I'm taking these, I'm going to sell these on eBay. Okay, those are really neat yeah. seats. They go for pretty good money on eBay. All right, I have 700 bucks on this set, but I'm going to sell them individually. I guess you'd have to ship them FedEx. FedEx ground or something, right? Yeah. And I'm gonna put this area for clothing. Okay. These are going into the booth next door, which is mine. I'm gonna put thin shelves here. Lots of records. You're probably the same. I was peeking at somebody's records downstairs and they went from $8 to $75 real quick. Yeah. Depends what you got, right? This was all filled with records. That's yeah. all I got left. Wow, they seem to be popular. Yeah, you know, they're very popular. Here. Steph said some guy came in on the weekend and spent 300 bucks on records. Okay. You mostly just find them. <laughs> yards, <laughs> like, yard sale type finds for these yeah. mostly? Yeah. 
really you can't pay more in a buck or two, right? No. I sell them for Condition and everything to 10 bucks. So those are the horror movie DVD stuff. Yeah, People somebody... Uh, come in here and... Yeah, they tend to be collectible, the horror stuff genre. Yeah. Is that supposed to be up there? Yeah, it's, it's, not the, uh, <laughs> it's just the wiggling of the floor. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the good stuff, though, is selling, right? So there's always Look at that guy. stuff I'm proud of, but it's gone, it's gone too, right? So. See if I can break your entire <laughs> booth today. <laughs> Somebody's unplugged this too. 87, or at least the graphics from 87. That's pretty wild. Nice that somebody didn't like ruin the graphics on this thing. Yeah. That's pretty sick. Okay. Look at this guy. I don't know if I might have to take a picture of my phone because it's too high. I think it's crazy. Where? I'm way too close. Well, where did you find this thing? Uh, actually, I was at a. where vendors get together and they have like a. A, a weekend type function thing. Yeah. It was at the Odd and Simcoe. Oh, the Odd and Simcoe? Yeah. Okay. And one of the vendors had that, and I switched them a uh, display case for that. Okay. So, because you can see display cases all the time, but you don't necessarily see those all the time. You know what I mean? So, and it's legit. It's it's got strings inside. It looks awesome. Yeah. It belonged to a doctor who went to Hong Kong and brought that back with us. Yeah, it's so interesting. I mean, my eye as a reseller is growing, but I started off liking video games and pop culture stuff. And then you see the value in like antiques. And my grandfather was all about antiques and he, he knew that obviously. And I just sort of was like, oh, I wasn't interested. So I did, it just went right out over my head, right? Yeah. But yeah, I, I can see it. Way. My dad had a booth here. I never came here. Yeah. Never had an interest in it because I didn't understand it. And I, I regret every day not paying attention. Yeah, I don't know. I feel, right. I feel the exact same. Yeah. It's kind of like bulk stuff. Okay. So. Avengers. Yeah, some more. A little more modern, too. But I'm going to put all my books in here. I'm going to bring my records over here. So anything that I got, kind of more newer, more <laughs> kind of bulked up. What uh, do you ever? Are you ever bold enough to try to cross, like, have anything that's in here that's actually listed online, or no? Like just one item. Just one but item. I would never do it with eBay. I did it with Etsy. Okay. But the item sold in here before it sold on Etsy, so I just delisted. Yeah. Yeah, you'd have to be right on top of it, right? Yeah. Because I, I thought about that and I'm like, oh man, like, you'd have to be, you'd have to be able to see what's sold daily and... So we have a, we have an app that's... for here. Okay. So you can see what's sold? So it, it, this is for the month of February. Yep. So someone paid 400 cash, so it's actually 1800 for the month so far. Oh, so this is just, yep. Yep. Because sometimes people that spend a lot of money just pay cash. But then it tells me everything that's sold. Okay, so you do get a... And that's for the month of uh, February so far. <laughs> Lots of sales. Yeah, you said you were saying you're doing good. Yeah. I think the rabies poster is old. I remember that in public school, <laughs> seeing that on the wall. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Although everything in our public school was probably 20 years old when I got there. Um, did you sell your Gar Garfield clock? Or a clock? I keep calling a clock the uh, phone. Yeah. Did you? Sold yesterday. Six ah, bucks. No kidding. That's funny. I, I literally was just telling uh, when I came in, I'm like, oh, I know that's there. That's something I may actually buy. Well, but uh, just sold, eh? It had some wear on it. Yeah. So if it didn't have the wear, yep. uh, it was $200 online. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And I've sold them on. I sold one online before. So yeah. I would probably test. If it worked, I'd still ask quite a bit. If it was for parts only or didn't work, maybe not. Yeah. But I think they're cool anyway. I mean, it's not Polka, right? You can see there's like. <laughs> Yeah. Some better names here. His record collection used to go right down to the net. Wow. So he's selling a lot too. Yeah. He knows his comics as well. These are cool. Yeah, he's comics. Got 
So. I never know. I collect records, but I we buy mostly 90s stuff that's like rare or yeah. when we go to concerts or bands that we like currently we buy modern records but yeah He's got some higher price records in there well 60 bucks what's that 2b not sure it's a german one With the beatles yeah so neat can't imagine how many Oh, Mastodon, see, that's a new one. This one maybe has some new records, too. <laughs> do you think, how much do you think this is worth? Or, oh, that lamp? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm trying to hide the price. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I have no <laughs> idea. I'd say a hundred, a couple hundred bucks, 150? Oh, just brought it down. Oh, well, six, 675, wow. Yeah, the E hundred off. But where are you going to find that mid-century modern lamp? There's a yeah. similar shade anyways. Huge. Okay, yeah, look up, up here. But, Even that one, 275. Well, look, but that would make a statement in a room, right? Like For sure it would. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. It's neat. I mean, yeah, I guess it has some interesting lamps. Is this like a seahorse or a horse or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so here's... Well, what do you think this is worth? It's the blue line. Panasonic blue line right here. So that's, that's for the duck. duck. I think they're 40 bucks or something. Okay. I don't know for sure. But... Yeah, I don't see the tag on it. I don't really want to dig around too much and knock something over. But I think around 40 bucks. I don't I don't know though. These are the ones that Adam was talking about. Yeah, that's the one main Japan, Panasonic. It's built like a tank. Um uh, I sell them for like 80 bucks. I know if you sell them on Etsy, you can get 160 if you hold out, but I, ju I just try to move them quicker, but they're good. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Blue Jay stuff. 92 World Series. Too bad they weren't full. I wasn't Adam trying to drink old pop on a show. Isn't that what he was talking oh, yeah, about? Yeah. <laughs> we'll find it. We'll find him. Uh, 92 Pepsi or Coca-Cola and get him to drink it. I know, but it's a beaver can. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just a little too much to be spending for that show. Oh, well, it's on sale, though. It's Is 99 it? bucks. You almost <laughs> can't afford not to buy it now. It's pretty cool. Premium motor oil. Yeah. Oh, it's not even a bottom to that thing. I think that was full. I wonder what it'd be worth. I don't know. That's pretty cool. I think we might have had, or my mom might have had this in like a display case when I was a kid. Hmm. Just a creamer, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, are these actual, like, is that actually like a walking stick in there that's been. I, I believe it is. I've looked at them a long time ago and I believe they are. Okay, this is some kind of bug I'd never want to see before. Asian sex. Yeah. I always thank God that we're not the size of the bugs and the bugs aren't the size of us. Oh, Imagine yeah. if the we're... Yeah, yeah. What was that? Honey honey I shrunk the kids? <laughs> Get down! Ah! Ah! I'm always interested in, in cards too. I just don't have the patience to go through them. Yeah. But I think it's cool when you find when when someone shows you like a rare one or you know a rookie or something. It's neat. I yeah. have a Warhammer game set. That I got to get online. Yep. Yeah. Man, look at these guys, eh? What is that? I just don't want to pick it up. It's definitely like some. Got a nice look to them, eh? Yeah. Like Somebody like made them too, right? Yeah, yeah that's neat. Yeah. Part of them's rolling around in there somewhere. 125. Yeah. I don't know. I think each. That one's 125 in this one. Fred. Yeah. I think each. It's, I can't. No, it says set. It does say set on there, yeah. I have to look a little closer. Seems a little high, but it does, but you never know. How many I, of those you're gonna find too? So I guess 
thanks for showing me around, Scott. I really do appreciate it. I actually messaged him like a day or two before and said, hey, I think I'm coming down there to look around. What booths are yours and what, what one should I check out? And he said, I can do you one better. I can meet you there. So that was awesome. You know, we were able to walk around for about an hour and a half, roughly. I cut it down to 15 minutes just in some bite-sized pieces here for you guys. We we're able to go out for a beer after. Thanks again, Scott, for buying the beer. Next time, the beer's on me. And uh, yeah, guys, if you like videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing for more content. And we'll see you tomorrow.